dear students this is lecture 19 in supply chain management as usual we will see the questions of the last lecture first the first question is when will you choose air carrier to move products from one place to another place so can you recall the criteria on which we choose air carrier okay the answer is small that is small in weight high value items or time sensitive emergency shipment that is we need to move the products in a very shorter period and the distance of travel that is the products has to move from one place to another place for a long distance then also we choose air carrier the next question is in case of five destinations how many routes are required in point to point transit and hub and spoke model so there are five destinations so in case of point to point transit the formula for number of routes is n into n minus 1 by 2 that is 5 into 4 divided by 2 the answer is 10 in hub and spoke model the formula is n minus 1 so the number of routes in hub and spoke model is equal to 5 minus 1 4 you can also verify the answer by drawing the diagram in paper in the last class we have discussed air carrier in continuation to that we are going to discuss package carriers so package carriers are transportation companies such as fedex ups in india for example professional courier blue dot dhl etc and the postal service which carry small packages ranging from letters to shipments package carriers use air truck and rail to transport time critical smaller packages mostly the delivery in terms of next day delivery or maybe one or two days maximum three days it can take in case of package carriers package carriers are expensive and cannot compete with the ltl carriers on price for large shipments ltl means less than truckload which we are going to discuss in case of truck carrier we'll be discussing in next slide so generally the package carriers are expensive the major service they offer shippers is rapid and reliable delivery that is they deliver the products in a very short period that is fast delivery and also it is reliable one so shippers use package carriers for small and time sensitive shipments as we have already discussed the delivery time will be mostly next day delivery or two days or maximum it can take three days to deliver the product in case of package carriers package carriers also provide other value added services such as package tracking and in some cases processing and assembly of products so package tracking is one of the essential service provided by the supply chain system which is also informative and essential to customers and also for the supply chain system the customers can know the status of their orders and the up-to-date information on products in transit is available to the customer till the product reaches in the hands of customer package carriers also provide services like processing and assembly of products particularly in the products like television and furniture products etc package carriers is a mode of transport mostly used by online businesses such as 
Amazon, Flipkart, and Dell, which send small packages to customers. Nowadays, as there is a growth of online sales in various products, even it may be in clothes or electronic products, furniture, etc., the use of package carriers has increased significantly and the package carriers deliver the products to the customer's home directly. Given the small size of packages and several delivery points, consolidation of shipments is a key factor in increasing utilization and decreasing cost for package carriers. For example, if you take uh, professional couriers, they have the main office in Chennai and like that in various cities, Tanjavur, Tirchi, Coimbatore, like that. Suppose if you take Tanjavur, it will collect all the packages and letters from nearby places, which are addressed to various cities like Chennai, Coimbatore, Tirchi, like that. Moreover, this place, Tanjavur, will also collect letters and packages from nearby cities also. For example, Thiruvaru, Nagapattinam. So all the packages addressed to Chennai are consolidated in one place. For example, in Tanjavur. Then all the letters addressed to Chennai is moved through a particular track. Like that. The consolidation of shipments takes place in one place so that to reduce the cost involved in moving the product and also utilizing the truck effectively. Package carriers have trucks that make local deliveries and pick up packages. So as we have discussed, if we take Tanjavur means it will have trucks to collect packages from various nearby centers and also to make the delivery also to the particular place. Packages are then taken to large sorting centers from which they are sent by full truck load, rail or air to the sorting center closest to the delivery point. So packages are collected or consolidated then it is sent to the another uh, place where again it may be consolidated and sent to the nearest sorting center which is closest to the delivery point. For example, if a package or letter is addressed to the delivery point which is nearer to the Coimbatore, then the letter or package first reaches the sorting center in Coimbatore. From Coimbatore, it will be sent to the particular delivery point through its delivery centers. Packages or letters addressed to foreign countries are moved through air carrier. Long distance shipments, for example, Chennai to Mumbai, Trichy to Delhi, Tanjavur to Calcutta, like that. Long travel shipments may be done through rail or air carrier. From the delivery point shopping center, the package is sent to customers on small trucks making milk runs. The concept milk run means consolidating the routes to deliver the products to the customers so that it results in cost reduction in transportation. The name comes from the fact that how the milkman in villages uses the root consolidation to collect milk from customers and also deliver milk to customers and finally the remaining milk will be given to the milk processing firm. So milk run in logistics means a route designed based on customer demand 
and along the way there are pickups and deliveries so that it reduces the transportation cost key issues in this industry include the location and capacity of transfer points and information capability to facilitate and track package flow that is the location of the facility and the capacity of that facility which takes care of transferring the products and information capability to keep track of the status of flow of packages for the final delivery to a customer an important consideration is the scheduling and routing of the delivery trucks so that is the ultimate aim of any supply chain system that is delivering the product to the customer in time sometimes we happen to see that particularly for interior places the delivery trucks will not be operated every day or daily basis because of very small number of packages so like this how we schedule the trucks to various places and how we route the trucks that causes the delivery time to increase or decrease by applying proper scheduling and routing of delivery trucks if the supply chain system deliver the product in time to the customer that will be the good strategy for the supply chain system next we are going to see the mode of transportation trucks in most of the world trucks carry a significant fraction of the goods moved you will also agree that most of the products what we purchase are moved through trucks in any country approximately 60% of the goods transportation is done through the carrier trucks why it is so the reason is it needs a minimum infrastructure that is road and reachability trucks can reach any part of the country maybe village or town or any other place moreover another advantage in trucks is capital investment to procure or purchase the truck is lesser than any other mode of transportation the trucking industry consists of two major segments truck load or less than truck load it is truck load tl less than truck load ltl truck load means the capacity of the truck is fully utilized in ltl the capacity of the truck is not fully utilized truck load operations have relatively low fixed cost and owning a few trucks is often sufficient to enter the business as we already discussed in case of trucks the capital investment to procure the equipment is less and also the operations of a trucks is also not that much costly so anybody can enter into this truck carrier business by owning a few trucks even starting with one truck like that the goal of a truck load carrier is to schedule shipments that provide high revenue while minimizing trucks idle and empty travel time the ultimate aim of the truck load carrier is to earn high revenue and keeping the trucks idle time and empty travel time is minimized so that to achieve better utilization of the truck and also high return on investment
this is possible only when shipments are scheduled properly and effectively this is best done by designing routes that pick up loads from markets where outbound demand exceeds inbound supply because these markets tend to offer higher prices the reason is if a market has got more outbound demand that is product should go out of the market and reach other places then they will be ready to pay prices for the truck carrier to move the products from the market to other places ltl that is less than truck load operations are priced to encourage shipments in small lots usually less than half a truck load as truck load tends to be a cheaper for larger shipments that is if the product shipment is equal to the capacity of the truck then we can go for a tl that is truck load that means we are utilizing the full capacity of the truck so that it is cheaper for larger shipments but in case of less than truck load that means the product shipment is just less than half of the capacity of truck load then we are moving the products in small lots so we go for ltl so ltl is suited for shipments that are too large to be mailed as small packages typically more than 150 lbs but that constitute less than of a tl ltl is suitable when the following criteria are satisfied the first one the product weight is more than 150 lbs that is lbs means pound 1 pound is approximately half kilogram but actually strictly speaking it is less than half kilogram so we can take it as 150 lbs is equal to approximately 68 to 70 kilograms so if the product weight is more than 68 kilograms like that it cannot be called as a small packages so it is very difficult to transport this kind of packages through package carrier the second one is the total product shipment capacity is less than the capacity of truck load that is less than half the capacity of truck load because if the total product shipment is more than half the capacity of truck load then it is better to go for tl that is truck load ltl operators tend to run regional or national hub and spoke networks that allow consolidation of partial loads so mostly the ltl operators are moving the products in the regional or national hub and spoke model that is moving the products from sorting center to various delivery points ltl shipments take longer than tl shipments because of other loads that need to be picked up and dropped off generally ltl shipments take longer because ltl takes care of both pickup and delivery students answer for these questions